Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this awesome smooth header transition as the user scrolls down your website. There are several different ways you can use this for your website. Maybe you have a dark logo, and as the user scrolls down your website over a dark section, the content in the header kind of disappears. So maybe you want to transition the dark content in the header to something lighter, or maybe you just want to apply a background color to that header so that the content will actually show up. Now, this tutorial does require a little bit of code, but don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set it up, and you can even copy and paste it from my blog post. The link to that will be in the description below. Also, I know on the Wix YouTube channel, they uploaded a tutorial very similar to this. However, in their tutorial, their new header kind of just pops into place, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make sure it fades in. After all, your website is supposed to take your users on a journey. And if your new header kind of just pops into place, that will kind of distract your users and take them out of that journey a little bit. You want them to think that was cool rather than, oh, dang. But that was probably the longest intro I feel like I've ever recorded. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using this website. As we scroll down, we're going to see that the content in the header kind of overlaps the content on the page. And for me, that doesn't look that nice. So maybe what we want to do is add a white background behind the header as the user scrolls down. So let's go ahead and set that up. So if we preview the site that we're working on and we scroll down, we're gonna notice that the header moves up with the website. This is a default setting for headers. So the first thing we actually need to do is select the header. Now, if you have a strip in your header and you're trying to select the header, then all you're gonna do is select the strip. So what you need to do is click on the strip and move the strip up a little bit. That way you can select the header, just like that. I'm getting to the point where I can almost predict some of the questions and comments, so I figured it would just be easier to include this part in the video. But now that we have the header selected, we're gonna click settings, and we're gonna choose the option for freezes. Now when we preview the site, the header is gonna move down with us. Now let's go ahead and click the header again, and we're gonna look over here in the toolbar and look at the height. The height of the header is 113 pixels. Let's just keep that number in the back of our heads for just a minute. So the next thing we want to do is we're gonna come over to add, we're gonna come over to strip, and we're just gonna add out the strip right here. We're gonna make this one 113 pixels to match the height of the header. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the background. We're gonna select change background strip, click settings, and then we're gonna lower the opacity to zero. Next, let's go ahead and add another strip. We're gonna make this one 113 pixels as well. Just like that, and we're gonna put it right here for now. The next thing I want to do is pull the content from the header and put it inside of this clear strip right here. And then I want to copy and paste it, and then we're gonna bring it down into this header. And maybe just to show you what you can do, I'm just gonna make this new header design turn black. So it's gonna go from this you know, golden design to a darker design like this. The last thing I want to add to the site is another strip. We can make this one like 50 pixels. It doesn't need to be very big at all. And we're also gonna select change strip background, go into the settings and remove the background color completely. And we're gonna go ahead and put this one right here. And basically what this is gonna be used for is it's going to tell the code when to transition from this strip to this strip. So the next thing we actually need to do is go ahead and activate dev mode. So we're gonna come up to dev mode up here in the top, and we're gonna turn on dev mode, just like that. Now it's gonna open up this panel at the bottom where we can input the code, and it's also gonna open up this section over here on the left, but we can hide it just by clicking this little arrow right here, because we won't need that panel. Okay, so the first thing we actually need to do is name these strips. So if we click on this strip, and then we look over here at the bottom right of this code panel, we're gonna see ID. Here is where we can actually apply a name to this strip. For the strip, let's name it default header. Now, if you look at the way I named this, you're gonna see that the first letter of the first word is lowercase, and then the first letter of the second word is capitalized. In the coding world, this is known as camel case. And this is used in Wix, JavaScript, and many other programming languages to name stuff or elements or anything like that. So we're gonna follow the best practice and make sure we name the stuff just like that as well. 
Now let's select this second strip and we're gonna name it new header. And then we're actually going to select default values as hidden. So basically what that means is when the website loads, this header is not gonna show up. And then let's scroll down to this invisible strip that we created, and we're just gonna name this one transition strip. The next thing I want to do is add both of these header designs into the actual header of the website. We're gonna go ahead and stretch this down quite a bit. Let's go ahead and pull in this one. And then in the toolbar, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this one is set to the top. Okay, next let's go ahead and drag in this second strip. We're gonna do the same exact thing where we're going to align it to the top. And then we're also going to just arrange and make sure it's in the front, which it looks like it is, just like that. And then the last thing we need to do is make sure that this header is set to 113, which is the original height. So if we preview the site, it looks like nothing has changed. But now it is time to implement our code. So for this code, we're gonna put it in between this on ready function. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the, these comments because we won't need them. So now that we've deleted the comments, we can go ahead and start adding the code. So what we're gonna do is press a dollar sign and W. And what that basically says is it lets us choose a Wix element on the page. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and press SW and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and it's gonna go ahead and add some parentheses for us. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press the apostrophe on the keyboard, and that's gonna add an apostrophe on both sides of my cursor. And I'm gonna go ahead and press hashtag, and we're gonna choose the transition strip. Then on the outside of those parentheses, we're gonna do on viewport leave, and we still have to do this with camel case as well. And you're gonna see it added parentheses for us. Inside those parentheses, we're gonna add more parentheses. <laughs> and then we're gonna go one to the right, and we're gonna add a equal sign and a greater than sign. We're gonna press space, and then we're gonna add these curly brackets, which are gonna be right above the apostrophe on the keyboard. And then we're gonna press enter. So basically what we just did was set up a function. So basically what we said is when we reach this transition strip, something needs to happen. And now in between these curly brackets, we need to tell the function what to do. So what we want to do is show the header with the white background and hide the original header with the gold logo. So to do that, we're gonna press the dollar sign W to call a Wix item or Wix element. We're gonna add the apostrophe. We're gonna press the hashtag symbol. We're gonna select new header. And then on the right side of the parentheses, we're gonna press period and then show. And here's the part that Wix left out. If we add an apostrophe and press in fade, that's gonna cause the transition to fade rather than just pop. So as you can see in the code, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but on the website, it will. And then on the right side of this, the last parentheses, we're gonna go ahead and press the semicolon. If we preview the site, the white header is gonna show, but we want to hide the old header or the default header as well. So underneath that, we're gonna basically do the same exact thing, SW, then we're gonna do hashtag default header, and then instead of show, we're gonna do hide, apostrophe, fade. So now if we preview the site and we scroll down, we're gonna see the header transitions into the new header. However, if we scroll all the way back up, the header doesn't transition back into the default header. Even though this doesn't actually look that bad, maybe you do want it to transition back. So to accomplish this, we're gonna go back into the editor, come down to the code. We are basically going to recreate this, but backwards. So we're gonna do dollar sign W, apostrophe, hashtag transition strip. And then for this one, we're gonna do on viewport enter because we're going back up instead of down. And then what we're gonna do is parentheses. We're gonna go over one, equal sign greater than space curly brackets and then now that we have the function set up we can go ahead and start telling it what to do so for this one we started out with the default one instead of the new header and we showed that one and then secondly for the new header we hit it so now when we preview the site and we scroll down it'll transition into the new header but then as we scroll back up it'll transition back 
Now let's say instead of a whole brand new header design, you just want this white background to appear. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything in this strip up here, and then I'm gonna move everything back into place. And then in the code, we can just delete the default header stuff. So now when we preview the site and we scroll down, the white background will show up. And then if we scroll up, the white background will disappear. Now this technique does not really work for mobile. And if I'm being honest, I really don't think it's necessary for mobile. It's just a really cool trick to do on desktop. So if I were you guys, I'd probably just leave mobile as is. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please smash that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.